Hey guys, it's Tuesday and that means another Tech Tip Tuesday. All right, here, first question. Bill Dean uh, asked us, good info as always, as much as I'm interested in the B18 job, I would love to uh, some info on getting the best out of a stock late JDM MPI block SPI head. Fun to drive as is, but a few more horses could be super cool, especially if AC could be retained. Uh, so what I assume he means is that he has a late model JDM car. Uh, they, the JDM engines um, in the MPI era were actually SPI uh, head and MPI block um, because they had air conditioning and in order to not run the front radiator uh, that the uh, normal MPIs, the ones that came in England and whatnot had, uh, they used uh, SPI injection, although they retain the MPI block. So essentially he's got a later after 96 or so um, Japanese fuel injected car. Uh, pretty much I would say the first thing to do is make sure that everything is working in proper condition. Make sure all your sensors are good. Uh, make sure that your uh, O2 sensor is new, uh, that you've got a good fuel filter and all that stuff. Spark plugs are right, valve adjustments done. Uh, they run really good if they're uh, tuned properly. So just go through it, do a full service, make sure everything's working really well. And then after that, pretty much, uh, you can do a couple little bolt-on things, adding a filter, adding a header, adding exhaust, all these bolt-on things will make a little bit of a difference. Uh, because the computer essentially that runs the car is the main determining factor in performance, uh, in order to make any real headway, you need to get an aftermarket computer. Now there's a couple different uh, companies that make uh, ECUs for this. Uh, specialist components, I know, uh, make a plug and play ECU that you just plug right in uh, and then you can have full tuning capability and even with uh, just normal bolt-ons even like 1.5 rockers and uh, and uh, intake and header and whatnot um, with the computer you'll be able to make some pretty significant changes so for anything um, more than just kind of a basic bolt-on stuff you're gonna want to go with an aftermarket computer Adrian LL asks uh, hi I have one question too I bought a 95 Cooper SPI with a slipping clutch the new clutch was added to the car by the seller. I've replaced the clutch with the oil seal. That was causing the clutch to slip in the first place. Adjusted the throw out to 6.5 millimeters and the clutch is still slipping. I've used the correct clutch from Saks. Everything was torqued down to spec. I really don't want to do this again anytime soon. Uh, now, my question is, because you have a 95 Cooper, uh, it should be a Verto clutch, not a pre-Verto. Uh, and Verto clutches don't need any adjustment. So when you're talking about adjusting the clutch to 6.5 millimeters, I'm not sure what that's referring to, uh, but um, essentially the clutch slipping uh, could be caused, like you said, by oil leak still going inside there. Uh, if you have the clutch set up properly, uh, it really shouldn't be slipping. So one thing I would check to make sure is that you've got the flywheel attached on properly. Uh, if the flywheel is spinning on the crankshaft, that could cause the feeling of clutch slipping. Um, but it would also be destroying your crankshaft, so make sure to look at that. Um, and then uh, just making sure that the clutch is properly bled. A lot of times what I find is that uh, if you lift the slave cylinder up in the air, um, like remove it from the case. You can actually bleed it a lot easier that way and then just make sure that your clutch is bled. Uh, the one thing I could think is that possibly your um, your return spring on the clutch pedal is, uh, is not fully functioning and then the bypass valve in the master cylinder isn't working. Um, it could be jammed up also with kind of crud in there. Um, essentially giving the feeling that your, your clutch is somewhat depressed because it's not letting the fluid out so it could be a little bit of pressure holding in that. Uh, you're pretty much going to have to go through everything and just make sure it's all in good working condition. Like I said, if it's a Verto clutch, uh, you should just be able to bolt it on uh, and there should be no need for any adjusting. Um, as a side, if on the, uh, the pre-Verto, what you want to do is take the spring off of the arm that goes from the slave cylinder to the clutch diaphragm and just pull it by hand. And then what I like to do is spin the adjustment nut out just until it contacts and then turn it flat in back towards and lock it down. And that's the adjustment that I go for and it works great every time. So hopefully that helps you out. Another question here from Pete Vlasopoulos. Vlasopoulos? 
Uh, question. I have a 73 Mini. I put front disc brakes on. The car seems to be wider in the front than usual. Any suggestions? Uh, it should be because when you add uh, disc brakes to the Mini that was previously a drum brake car, it'll actually push the uh, the wheels out by about an inch. Um, the factory, when they put the uh, the factory disc brakes on the car, they actually fitted uh, built-in spacers into the rear drums. So if you look um, at any car that came factory equipped with uh, drum brakes in the front, you'll see the drum brakes in the rear um, go kind of flat. And then any cars that came with disc brakes, uh, they have a built-in, it's about an inch, uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch spacer uh, built into the drum. So if you do want to have the same track width front and rear, I would suggest uh, swapping over to the drums that came on the later cars and then you'll have a proper track width. <laughs> Tim Anonan asks, which bear is best? Black bear? What kind of bear is best? Bears beat Battlestar Galactica. All right, guys, that was another episode of Tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, we love getting your questions. Keep sending them in. You can put them on our uh, Instagram. You can put them on our YouTube. You can send us an email, whatever you like. Uh, we're gonna be doing this every Tuesday, so make sure to like and subscribe, uh, and hopefully we can answer your questions and help you out with your mini.